Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is a Virgo reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs and also cross watchers as well. So thank you everyone for watching. Hope you guys are good. So I've done a pre-shuffle already so we can jump straight into this reading. So to outline this reading we have release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. And we have past life relationship. You have known each other before. And we have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Right, so that's the messages. Release your ex, past life relationship. Express your love. This could be the one. So let's tap into the energies. Get some tarot and tap in. Do a three card spread. So we have seven of wands in reverse. We have six of cups. And we have the four of wands. Okay, so. Someone from your past, it looks like. So to clarify, we have the ace of cups. Page of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. So that's further clarified with Six of Pentacles. We have the Emperor. Could be dealing with the Aries and Ten of Wands. Right. So... They're watching you. Yeah, you got someone watching you here. Yeah, this is picking up a reading for someone out here that has someone watching, looking and stalking during this time. Yeah, you've got an ex-lover. Six of Cups. Is someone from your past here someone that you released it looks like because we have released your ex so uh someone you've released your ex lover is uh yearning for you during this time they're watching you probably stalking your social media you know or stalking your home for some of you, if this person knows where you live. Because we have the Six of Cups here. So this could be someone that you grew up with in the same neighbourhood for some of you. They're yearning for you. This is someone that can't get over you. They're very nostalgic during this time. It could be, you guys could have like a twin flame connection here. Four of Wands. Yeah, you let this person go because I can see Seven of Wands in reverse. It's like, this is someone you gave up on. You've given up on this person, this situation here. You gave up, I feel, for some of you. You may have believed in this connection at one point, but I feel like, yeah, you've given up on this connection here. It may have been too challenging for you. The situation looks like it was it was very challenging here. I feel like you're dealing with someone that is uh that wasn't making the effort here. This is what it is. Yeah, seven of pentacles in reverse. It's like this person wasn't really making the effort in this connection with you. They weren't investing the time or the effort here. This is why you may feel like this situation is just a burden. Yeah, this is someone that just weren't putting in the effort. Yeah, so you've given up. You've given up. But I feel like they haven't given up on you. 
<laughs> this person's yearning for you. They're watching you. And we've got the Ace of Cups as well. This is like new relationship or new romance coming in. You know, this is someone that wants to be with you during this time. We've got the Six of Pentacles. Equal give and take. So this is someone that wants to come and give to you, it looks like. Bring balance to this situation. Yeah, because they weren't giving. This is someone, like I said, they weren't putting in the time or effort here. In the situation with you. So I feel like that's changed. I feel like they want to now, it looks like. Because, you know, we've gone from Seven of Pentacles in reverse to the Six of Pentacles. Balance, giving, receiving, equal give and take care. Yeah, they want to give to you now. I feel like for some of you, you invested time and energy into this person here as well. This is why it was just so challenging because you, you was investing in this situation. But you just weren't getting nothing back, you know. You wasn't getting anything back. Yeah, so it's like... You know, this person just has too much going on, you know. And I feel like for some of you, you just don't have patience for it anymore. <laughs> You're losing your patience here with this person. Yeah. You're losing your patience. You're probably, you know, losing stamina, the stamina to even fight for this connection at this point because it's just exhausting. <laughs> Dealing with this person. It's just challenges after challenges. Yeah, you guys have a past life relationship. I feel like this is a twin flame situation for some of you. You have known each other before. So yeah, definitely you guys have definitely got history in this lifetime. And for some of you, you you've known each other in previous lifetimes as well. You guys are probably old souls. So maybe this is why the connection is so intense here. It's really intense. Because this person's obsessed with you. We have expressed your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Yeah, they love you. This person loves you. Ace of Cups, Six of Cups. Yeah, they do love you. And they want to show it. They want to express their love for you. Hey, Six of Pentacles. This is someone that wants to show you their love. They want to show you how much they love you here. And balance things out. Uh, I feel like all the time and effort you may have put into this situation with this person, they're going to give it back to you now. It's going to be equal, give and take. Hey. It looks like this person has a lot of love to give as well. They have a lot of love to give. They may have been guarded with you here. You know, I feel like they're in this and they could be in this energy of um letting their guard down. Be more open to you now. They may have kept you at arm's length. Because this person I could see they had uh, you know, situations. They 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 got a lot on their plate. <laughs> This is probably someone that has, you know, options. They, this is For some of you, this person may have, like, many options. You know, they have situations, other situations that they attach to or responsibilities here. You know, they have, this is someone that has a lot on their plate. And they, this is why they weren't putting effort in, in this situation with you. They're focused on other things here. You know, for some of you, this is someone that's materialistic, so they're more focused on money, you know, focus on their financial stability as well. Because, you know, you're dealing with someone that's an emperor here. So, uh, stability and security in the financial sense is very important for someone in this energy, the emperor. This is someone that, um, Tends to have their own business, you know, make their own money. Or they run companies, you know. So, uh, they don't really, um, 
get emotional like that. They don't really make time for <laughs> their love life like that. But it's like this connection with you is they can't shake it off. They can't shake it off. You get this person, you, you, you touch this person's heart. You really do. <laughs> I can see. They feel like you are the one. You could be the one. This could be the one. It says you've already met the romantic partner you seek. Yeah. They feel like you are the one. When it's all said and done. Because <laughs> they can't stop watching you here. This person's obsessed. They can't stop watching you. Heavy spying going on. Heavy spying going on. This person is yearning for you. Yearning for you. We've got karmic relationship. Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. So this is someone that's attached to a karmic relationship. So this is one of the... Um, Challenges in this connection between you and this person here. They're attached to a current relationship that, you know, they need to let go of. With this four of wands here, yeah, this person, they could be living with someone. They could be living with someone and this is why they're unable to invest in you, invest their time and, you know, attention to you because... Like I said, they got a lot on their plate. It looks like there's a karmic relationship here. But it looks like their living arrangement is not happy. Whatever it is. Maybe for some of you, this person, you know, they're not living with someone, but they're living in some sort of temporary accommodation here or something. It's like there's a lack of stability here going on for this person they seem really burdened during this time they got a lot on their plate right about now this is why you may feel like you don't have patience for this person because you know they don't put an effort in with you or anything but I feel like they're, they're going through a lot of stress right now because this is someone that took on a lot of stuff you know <laughs> they have a lot of burdens challenges that they're going through right now Probably their living arrangement or living situation is just not stable during this time. They're trying to sort that out. It looks like, because there's a lot of turmoil here. This person's going through a lot of turmoil. It's lessons, though. It's lessons. So I feel like they're learning to let go, you know. I feel like they pulled more towards you. It's like they want to let go. Of this karmic relationship, I feel that they're focused on a new beginning here. You can see the page, this page, page of swords is focused on this new beginning, this ace of cups. That is the focus. Yeah. They're letting go of this karmic relationship. Yeah, as I said, that coffin. <laughs> Endings bring new beginnings. Growth, change, liberation, transition. This is it. They're letting go. There's an ending here. There's an ending. That's bringing in a change. Yeah. We've got girl with a snake. Empath and narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used. Enable boundaries. So for some of you, you have boundaries in the situation. You feel like you're dealing with a narcissist here. <laughs> because they just don't give to the situation. They just take. Yeah, draining out your energy. You feel it's draining. So for some of you, you may have boundaries now at this at this time. Yeah, this is why they're spying on you. Yeah, because you're moving on. Girl talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment. This is why they're spying on you, hey, because they know you're single. And you're moving on, living in the moment. This is someone that fears that you will meet someone else and forget about them. 
This is why they're spying on you here. Yeah, you're moving on. Keys on a ring, many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Yeah, this is someone that has many options. This is what it is. This is why they don't invest in this connection with you. They got many options. They're very unconventional. They live an unconventional lifestyle here. And they're used to stringing people along. You know, this is what they do. And they engage in one night stands. This is, this is, this is what they invest in. Rather than investing in this connection with you, where their heart is, <laughs> you know. And their love and their heart is, they're investing in, in all these options here. And one night stands. Stringing people along. This is why they got a lot on their plate. Many options. Too much keys on the ring. This is why they need to learn and let go. You know, just learn from, from these lessons here and let go. Follow your heart. This person really needs to like... It's like this person, they don't like to let go. They don't know how to let go. We have not enough frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence. So maybe this is what it is. They have insecurities. This is someone that has insecurities, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fears, ego issues, jealousy. Yeah, they have insecurities. For some of you, they may feel like they don't have enough. You know, I feel like they've got a lot on their plate. Like I said, they, there's a lack of stability here. In this person's life right about now. They don't feel like they're enough. To have this new beginning with you during this time. You know. So it, I feel like it's frustrating for them. I feel like this situation is frustrating for this person. They're frustrated in the relationship. Yeah frustrated. Because I feel like. I really feel like they really want to be with you. You know, it's strong. The feelings are strong here. They want to express their love. They want to be with you. But this person feel like they don't have enough to be with you. But at the same time, you know, they could at least let you know what's going on in their life. So you can, you know, because right now I feel like you're giving up because this person, they don't even communicate with you for some of you. You don't know what's going on. You know, you don't know how they feel. You like don't have good communication. They should at least let you know what's going on. You know, maybe you could help them. You know, but it's like they they just want to spy on you instead, <laughs> watch you from a distance. You know, because they 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 got fears. They have too much fears, insecurities. We have healing heart, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship. Yeah, this person, they're going through a lot here. They're healing from a toxic relationship here. I feel like, you know, you could be healing. You know, you could be heartbroken here as well. You're healing. You feel like this relationship is toxic because, you know, you're dealing with a narcissist here. Yeah, someone's um, hurt. Yeah, someone's hurt. We've got not today. Avoiding a conversation, call or person. Boundaries, not dealing. Still angry. Yeah, someone's hurt in this situation. We've got Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Yeah, love is coming. Yeah, there's love in this situation. This person loves you. We've got the phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renewed, transformation. Yeah, they want to renew this connection with you. They want to, they're coming to rekindle. Yeah, they're coming to rekindle. Wow, engagement, engagement ring. This person wants to commit to you here. Wow, love, unconditional love. Mask hiding their feelings here, yeah, yeah. Twin flames, I knew it. For some of you, this is your uh twin flame here. And yeah, we've got clock needs time, takes time, time to heal. 
yeah it's time to heal this connection and for some of you you need time to heal as well so that's the messages you guys i'll see you soon